hello everyone it's me a summary welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and uh, i have done this photo editing yesterday and let's see what was the image before one was like that and after edit that i just got these things like that so i added a preset from the nick collection and i got this result and i'll discuss that preset i made it for you guys and i'll provide you that things in my video description and after that adding just light it just got another exposure and after adding the like color you can go like that you can get these things like that so here is the color code i'll provide you that color code to you so this one and i'm just copying these things and paste over here let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so go to the file and open up here the stock image from unsplash.com and i'll provide you that photo download link for your practice purpose then just drag it and make a copy of this layer and after that go to the filter camera raw filter you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop and you can use this one by default in a creative cloud version and if you want to get the download link of the setup manual setup you have to just check out my video description and you can use that thing earlier version of the photoshop here is small menu go to the load settings options from here here is the like uh, xmp file that is the urban type xmp file and load it out so after loading that you are getting the effects like that so what i have done here let's start to discuss here i made the temperature minus six and here the highlight plus two and shadow plus 16 and clarity minus 18 that's why it look like a soft effects and dehaze option i make it just like plus four and vibrance that is minus three and saturation minus five and tone curve what i have done here let's see tone curve nothing i just done over here uh, green tone curve i made just locked it up and here just made like that and red tone curve made like little bit in a downside and then sharpening i made the sharpening that is 30 and the radius 1 and detail 25 luminance of noise reduction 40 for the smooth fill and uh, just for the image was like a green and here the luminance detail 50 and luminance contrast 31 and color 38 here the color detail 50 and the color smoothness that is the 50 and most important thing is the hsl panel hue saturation and luminance hue that is like green hue the most of the color here is green that's why i made the color of the hue of the green that is the 42 and that's why it look like like a yellowish type and here aqua as well aqua minus 23 and blue plus 38 so if i make the blue color like that it will be like uh, totally aqua and hair color is aqua so i don't want to make the hair color in aqua mode so i just made like that okay after that saturation let's see the saturation yellow made the down saturation that's y minus 36 and the green minus 34 aqua minus 74 that's good and luminance i didn't touch that and the split toning you know the shadow and highlight color so what will be the highlight color and what will be the shadow color it defines with the split toning highlight here is the hue and saturation option you know the which color will be defined with the hue and the percentage of color defined with the saturation so here hue 146 and the saturation 13 hue 2 and saturation 15 no lens correction issues and here the amount of proscope vignetting that is minus 20 and the uh, camera calibration from our calibration whatever you can tell and that is red green and blue three primary colors red primary colors hue that is the 68 and the saturation 43 hue 65 and 42 for the saturation and blue primary color minus 65 and minus 3 and that's all and hit the ok button you are getting the changes of the photo you are like that so before one was like that and after one you're getting like that and then i will add the light take a new blank layer and after that go to the brush and right press over here you can make the brush size for four one two and hardness zero percent and after that you can choose the first brush which is like that and select once or press once press command t and make the bigger size like that yeah you can press the control button and it will be like this our option button it will be like that so 
you can make it bigger like this yeah that's good and press the shift and just rotate these things like that just because of it will coming from this side it seems like that and hit the tick button and down the opacity yeah that's fine and now i'll go to the adjustment layer and go to the solid color so i made the copy of the solid color code so i'll just take the solid color code from here so you have to press ok at first then go to that window and copy that things control or command c or you can take this copy this color code and here instead of the white color just paste the color code and hit ok and after that change the blending mode into soft light yeah that's fine you can change up the color if you want you can change the color like this hope that you learned a lot from this video I mean, if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question go ahead request please do comment on my video comment section if you want to get the download link of the preset and the stock image download link please check out my video description and in the next video i may say i'm signing out today bye bye